we're just gonna be looking into the mocha strawberry latte espresso nespresso makeup i do feel like like these trends already existed but we're just calling it by a different name it's kind of like my style of makeup that i like i love like warm chocolatey makeup but this one it just it just packs a punch where it's like we're using lots of browns yeah, it's literally just super bronzy makeup and i'm excited to be doing something a little bit more smoky right here okay hello hope you can see my pores and we're gonna have the video here okay so she put on foundation first bronzer eyes let's do the eyes first because <laughs> okay so she used like this like brownie color i might have a shade like that i mean i feel like that doesn't really show much okay so the first thing is we're gonna do the eyes and i use a lot of concealer the good thing is if you are dark skin you have dark lids or if you just have dark lids in general this look is really helpful because you don't have to do much because you already have like dark list to begin with once again jackie on a palette so i can probably use the shade ginger in here ginger is exactly the shade all over my lids which is pretty so i'm literally just gonna pack it on and then kind of like bring it up a little bit higher but then it you know you could just start blending into the crease a little bit this is the morphe m332 if anybody's wondering just gonna pack it on a little bit more into that she goes in with like a black. I don't think Jackie Anna's palette has a black. I feel like the black is a little bit too harsh. I feel like I might want to use credit, but Brenda, I do this thing where I just don't really follow instructions and we're gonna for once try and follow instructions. So I'm gonna use my old Morphe palette here that's falling apart. The Morphe the, what, 35B. So she's going in with a darker color smoking that out okay this one is bigger so she's using a brush like this this is the morphe e15 brush i feel like this will do i haven't done my foundation yet i can get messy and clean this up my biggest thing with doing makeup that i you know as a perfectionist as a fellow virgo is that i'm always like it needs to be perfect da, da, da. and it's like brenda okay hold on a second she kind of like right like makes it go up a little bit higher so let's make it go up a little bit higher. Chocolate, espresso, whatever, mocha, mommy <laughs> situation is literally just like, uh, I don't know, a chocolate brown smoky eye. But I mean, I think that's the fun of it, right? Now the one, one that I'm like, what is going on is the strawberry one. I'm like, so a lot of blush? Like I, like I, I can't. I went back in with that first shade just to kind of like tone it down a little bit. Cause hers, I mean, I'll just, it can also be your own. Like this is not to be, this does not need to be exact, Brenda. Okay. Type A over here. It does not need to be exact. It's totally fine if it's not, but I'm just going to like try and like blend it out a little bit, like the edges. And then our best friend, I feel like in this situation is going to be just cleaning it up with like concealer, whatever. Now, right here, I feel like this line is a bit sharper. So I feel like I'm going to use that same brush I was using for the black, just because I don't want it to look like eyeliner. I want it to just be like smokiness. So I'm gonna try and like just bring it up maybe or not. <laughs> like try to brush out the edges a little bit more. So I ended up brushing out the edges with the same brush with the first color I used. In this case is ginger on circular motions kind of, but I'm not bringing it down. I'm literally just focusing on one spot. She did concealer, so I guess I'll start with concealer. But I did here, so I think this is where you do your usual base. But should I just follow her? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, uh, This is not the time to be trying a different technique. I guess we'll just follow, let's see what she does. Blush. So she doesn't do the, the underpainting. Cause she did foundation first. Dang, had it. Okay, so I'm going to do as a primer, whatever base situation, because she put on foundation first. I'm going to do the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm. I just love it. If I ever want full coverage, I'll do it first, and then I'll go in with my foundation. And I'm actually switching on my foundation. It's one that I haven't used in a while, but I'm going to use the Danessa Myricks to cover up some, like, blemishes, because I feel like this look is, like, not I feel. This look is full coverage, and we want to keep it that, so... I'm using stippling motions just because I want this to be full. 
And then for the concealer, I'm going to do the Lancome Tat Tat. Okay, right now. Tat it all. How do you even say that in French? Like, I feel like that word kind of freaks me out a little bit. So I'm gonna go in and like clean this up so I can make it sharp. But I kind of, I kind of like how not as like crisp it is, but I feel like hers is. So we're just gonna follow. So I have my lashes on, and I ended up putting a little bit of the sculpting shade as a kind of like an under eye powder, setting powder before I put on translucent powder. So we're gonna keep going with this video if I could find it. Hers looks a little bit more chocolatey. Like, I don't know why. Maybe also cause she brought in, I don't know. I might go in with the Fenty bronzer later on just to like give it more like, I don't know, maybe cause she also used orange. I feel like maybe should I, I feel like I might go in with the orange to really like add the warmth back into my eyes. I'm not sure, but let's keep going. I need to put on foundation, even though I feel like my skin looks perfectly fine. I don't need that much, but let's just like, ooh, wait. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, mm-hmm. Hers look pretty matte. Oh, <coughs> oh my gosh. So she's like a light, like a light pink blush. Let's see what color blush I have. And this, this, and this. Oh! So we're just gonna like go in with the bronzer, Fenty Beauty. I usually like dab a little bit of this bronzer, but I'm gonna try it add a little bit more than usual just because the point of this look is like chocolatey, warm goodness. Yeah, mm-hmm, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, ma'am. So I think I'm gonna go in with a darker chocolatey brown because I feel like these browns that I have are more like on the purpley side. Unless I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. Um, but I'm just gonna go in with the Fenty bronzer maybe and see if it does something different. different. But I just feel like, okay, let's try, why don't we try this dark brown from here? It's a contour shade from this palette. I'm just going in and just try one more attempt. And I don't know if she did anything on her on lower eye. She kept it, she kept it the lower eye simple. So yeah, we're going to try and see if like a dark brown here ends up helping a little bit. But y'all, I don't think so. I don't know why mine is like coming off. I hate, ah, I hate my brows. What is happening? Okay, let's go to the lips. Whoa. Okay. Let's work with what we got. She has a super glossy lip. I have aqua for my lips, so I'm just gonna wipe that off. We're gonna take this concealer here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gloss here from e.l.f. What do y'all think? I feel like it looks a little bit too ashy. I need something to warm it up. Yep. Making it work with what we got. Pinky color from e.l.f. Let's see how this works on top. Just to like tone it. Cause if, you, if you're new here, I'm not that big on lips. So I'm just trying to like try the best that I can. Well, I'm loving, ah! So I'm almost done at this point, but I just feel like this is, I just feel like this is missing something. So I'm gonna work, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Danessa Myricks. This is it. Yeah, the little bit of Nessa Myricks blurring balm on my lips without me losing my lips too much. Mm-hmm. Man, this lip concoction has gone in so many di different directions. Yeah, so this is what the lips is looking like. I wanna go in and just put a little bit of like brown in my lower lashes. I know, Brenda, it's like, can you just take the video as is? But I just can't. I'm gonna go in with credit and just smoke out my lower lashes a little bit more. The look is actually more complete for me just from my eye shape and my face. That is pretty much my little experimentation. I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know if you end up recreating this look and let me know if there's any other looks you want me to try and follow along. I actually really enjoy these. Yes, yeah, so let me know how you like this. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because it really does help me know that y'all like these kind of videos and I should be recreating them. And it helps the algorithm push out to more people. Have a great day and take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.